in the first stage of the Saturn V will Here's begin the voice, at 8.9 seconds. Jack King, and we'll stay with We're him now for the next minute and 45 seconds, seconds to launch. Still go with Apollo 14. We'll go on internal power in the Saturn V launch vehicle at the 50-second mark in the count. At ignition and liftoff, we'll have more than 7.5 million pounds of thrust pushing the space vehicle off the launch pad. This is the heaviest Saturn V space vehicle to be launched thus far. Coming up on the 1 minute 20 second mark. 1 minute 20 seconds and counting, a still go at this time. Third stage tanks now are pressurized according to our stratus board here in the firing room. 1 minute 10 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control coming up in 60 seconds. Mark, T-minus, 60 seconds and counting. Still go with the count. First stage uh, tanks are now pressurized as our status board uh, gives us a rundown on the automatic sequence. 50 seconds and counting. We've now gone on internal power on the internal batteries of the Saturn V as the count continues. 40 seconds and counting. Alan Shepard reports that he's performing his final guidance alignment, the final uh, maneuver the astronauts perform before liftoff. 30 seconds and counting. Stu Russo just said thanks. It's been a good count. 25 seconds and counting. We are still go. 20 seconds. Guidance alert. The guidance system now going internal. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, launch commit, liftoff, we have liftoff with Apollo 14, 3 minutes past the hour, the tower is clear, Houston is controlling, that's right now, 16 seconds, pitch and roll program started, 14 maneuvering to a proper flight course. Coming down, adjusting from sea level to a space environment. We have a remote camera. Status working, check right? and mission control are coming up all greens on the flight director's console. In Houston, everything looks good here on the ground. Right. Oh, One well, minute, 19 right? seconds that's coming great. up on period of maximum aerodynamic be... pressure on the vehicle. That, that camera you see is further down range. It's down the Florida coast here, and apparently they've got a clear shot. Huh? I think this is the Rivero Beach camera, in fact, yeah. right down there. Yes, it looks great. It's what, uh, it's what, 60 miles down, down the coast. One minute, uh, 35 seconds, uh, 9 nautical miles in altitude, 5 nautical miles down range. Uh, velocity now reading uh, 3340 uh, feet per second. They've been through the uh, first real test, that maximum demanding pressure area. That came at 1 minute, 25 seconds into the flight. Uh, that's uh, where they get the maximum buffeting is the escape. Pass through Max Q. Mode 1 Charlie. Mark, 1 Charlie now. We're 1 Charlie. EDS auto is off. Have you seen the uh, first Two stage shutdown? Two minutes, five seconds are coming up on uh, center engine shutdown. Two minutes, 12 seconds, 20 nautical miles in altitude. Inboard cut off. Yeah. Roger, inboard. Center engine shutdown on time. That's two minutes, 25 seconds, 25 nautical miles in altitude, 30 nautical miles downrange. Another 15 seconds, all of those uh, first stage engines cut down. The other four on the outer Mark, range. Two minutes, 35 seconds uh, coming up uh, on staging. That's a great shot. Beautiful. Yeah. Roger. End separation. Roger. Ignition on five. Roger. Great, and next stage is Head going staging, uh, the Shepard crew now riding on five good second stage engines. On five engines. Look at that, you can see that big first stage right dropping there, back there. Good thrust on all five. This is the one we hope to fly the, back uh, sometime in the future. The giant first stage falling away now, it's day's work done. 
That's a frightening. Three minutes, ten seconds, coming up on skirt sap and tower jettison. Frightening explosion when that skirt thing separates. You think the whole That's thing's gone. Yeah. You should see it from the inside. <laughs> you yeah. can see it, really. There you see the tower jettison. And now they can all look out. <laughs> That's the tower that they walked more than Al flew on before. <laughs> Great sequence. That's the best picture. Three minutes, 35 seconds, uh, 14 now, 33 feet shorter, 9,000 pounds lighter, uh, moving out well beyond the Earth's atmosphere. We show an altitude of uh, 16 nautical miles. That's the tower right at the top of the uh, Saturn that would pull the command module free in case there were a catastrophic uh, disaster in the Mark, uh, 3 minutes, 55 seconds, 63 nautical miles in altitude, 143 nautical miles downrange, velocity now. Send that 4 minutes, trajectory and guidance look good. 14, roger. 